Star Wars Celebration 2020 has officially been canceled, but not to worry, I'm sure we'll be getting an extra good one next year. Wait, what the f*** do you mean it's not coming back until 2022? What's up, everybody? It's Josh. Welcome back to the channel. Use the powers of the force to smash that like button and make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss all of these videos. We're going to start really upping the frequency of videos here on this channel. So if you don't want to miss anything, you like the nerdy videos, subscribe. Okay, released officially on StarWarsCelebration.com. An official announcement about Celebration in 2020 at Anaheim has been made. I'm going to read right from the press release. It says to our Star Wars Celebration fans and friends. At Star Wars Celebration, the health and safety of our fans attendees, exhibitors, guests, and staff is always our number one priority due to the global impact of, well, you know. And in speaking with local and state authorities on the latest public health guidelines related to indoor conventions, we have made the decision to cancel Star Wars Celebration for 2020. While this news is disappointed, we are very happy to announce that Star Wars Celebration will return to Anaheim Convention Center on August 18th through the 21st in 2022. Now, if you're anything like me, you were hoping that was a typo or something like, what? 2022? But I'm here now on StarWars.com. They give an update today about Star Wars Celebration in 2020, and they say much of the same thing, literally copy-pasting the press release that was posted on StarWarsCelebration.com. Most importantly, again stating that Star Wars Celebration will return to Anaheim Convention Center on August 18th through the 21st in 2022. Okay, so lots of ins and outs to get to here. I think most importantly, or the question that's on most Star Wars fans' mind is, is this indicative to something more than what's going on in the world? Is it more than just a delay because of the shutdown and because of safety and public health and all of that? Is there something else to it? Well, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have put out some feelers. I'm trying to figure that out, and I I don't have a conclusive answer for you. My gut tells me that while it is not necessarily indicative of anything going on over at Lucasfilm, I actually do believe there's a lot of changes and things going on over at Lucasfilm, and I think think that there might even be delays to the movie slates. I know as of yet, they have not delayed that 2022 movie. But just from what I heard, the last time I spoke to people, I was like, I don't understand how they could actually still hit that 2022 date. But they could. I mean, they did technically just sign Taika to do a movie so they could do a Taika Waititi Star Wars movie in 2022. It might be all good, but my gut is telling me that there's some stuff going on behind the scenes. They're dealing with this just like everybody is dealing with this. I think that we will see that 2022 date move for that Star Wars movie, and I honestly think that will be okay. I, I don't know if many fans would agree with me or not, but that's what I'm told and that's what I believe but to be honest with you I don't have a conclusive answer there now next up I do want to put up this tweet here by a man named Clayton Sandell and he, this guy works for ABC and he says here in this tweet that Star Wars Celebration won't return until 2022 however if things stabilize the guidance I'm hearing is that we might see more Star Wars announcements than originally planned at D23 in 2021 and so basically the truth of what's going on in this story and, and the thing that nobody's going to want to hear but it is absolutely Absolutely, the truth is that nobody has any idea what's actually going to be happening with the world, with the reopening of the economy, how fast that is going to happen, whether we are going to backtrack on that. Nobody has any idea what's actually going on. Wonder Woman just got delayed again and from has now moved from its August date to an October date. Tenet was supposed to release in the middle of July. It's now releasing late July. I wouldn't be surprised if Tenet moved once again. Guys, this is new territory. Nobody has any idea what the hell is going on or how we're going to do this. I think even the MCU movies and their current dates in 2021 could still change and move. We don't know how these restrictions are going to end all over the world and how these different companies are going to be able to deal with these restrictions. And so I do believe that for the most part, this was a delay done because of that and because of what's going on. It is not necessarily indicative of what is happening behind the scenes over at Lucasfilm. But here's the other side of that that's really crazy. We've obviously heard a lot of leaked information, a lot of reports come out in the last couple of weeks about The Mandalorian Season 2, about the Rebels sequel series that should be coming out on Disney+, Plus, about a live-action Ahsoka series, and there is still, of course, the Cassian Andor show and the Obi-Wan Kenobi show, okay? Look, all of these things are still in development, and I believe that a lot of this will still be happening on Disney+. Plus, I do truly believe, if I'm being honest, that Lucasfilm is still trying to figure out what they're going to do with the 
films. They have not had this big name, this big person come in and say, yes, I will sign up to do this series of films. They haven't got the caliber of talent and the big, big name that they are looking for to usher in the next series of Star Wars movies. As far as I know, they do not have that. Things could change and they could get that. But I'm really having trouble just figuring out how they're going to make that happen, given the state of the world, especially if they're trying to hit that 2022 date. I mean, wow. It's it's pretty crazy. But Clayton Sandals' comments about getting more announcements at D23 next year, it tracks. It makes a lot of sense to me. I think if you're Disney, this is just the smart move here. Uh, you know, delay celebration again next year hold d23 which for the most part has become sort of an event that they live stream and push out live to people anyways uh will we still be getting some announcements this year via streaming or things like that it's very possible uh but I, to be honest with you i don't think star wars is in a position where they really need to do that they're going to be launching the mandalorian okay mandalorian season two should not be delayed it should still be coming out when it's coming out that thing will be advertised but i don't know if they need to do a special presentation or anything like that uh, maybe some kind of director's roundtable something akin to the documentary series we've been watching on Disney Plus but they don't necessarily need to do a convention for that the movies are pushed way off they're not until 2022 and again I believe they will actually be delayed a lot of the other Disney Plus stuff I mean like we know about it but there's no expectation of a release date we have no idea when this stuff is going to come out and so I really don't think they need to make any of these big announcements if they do land with these animated shows and they start being announced and coming out, then yeah, maybe they could do something for that. But by and large, Star Wars Celebration was really a place where Star Wars fans gathered. I, I think the exhibitor hall, the different things that you can experience as a Star Wars fan, the different panels you can do go to as a Star Wars fan, it is much more of a traditional convention in that sense. But they do love to hold their big, big announcements and reveals for Star Wars Celebration. It's much the way that Kevin Feige uses San Diego Comic-Con to announce all of the big Marvel stuff. It's a very similar type thing, so I don't know. I'm I'm kind of shocked by this. I'm shocked that they would delay it a whole nother year. As I said, I've reached out to people. If I hear anything back, I will bring that information to you guys. But that's the official news, guys. No Star Wars Celebration this year. No Star Wars Celebration next year. We supposedly will be getting more Star Wars announcements late next year for D23, okay? And as far as I know it, the delay is not because of problems that Disney is having, although I do think they are having problems. I hope that's clear enough. Uh, if you have any questions about that, feel free to drop them in the comment section or maybe come on by a live stream. Maybe we can get into it in a little bit more detail. But that's all that I know and some speculation spun in there. And now let's shout out Peculiar Misfit 746. Yes, indeed, Hera pilots the ghost so shout out to you peculiar misfit and now let's ask another nerd card question before we get out of here i want to know what is the alien race that greedo the famous bounty hunter coming after han solo in a new hope belongs to that's right i want to know what is the alien species to which greedo belongs to answer that question in the comment section below if you absolutely need more nerdy content in your life click or tap over there to watch some more of our videos or come on by our live streaming channel where we're live streaming all the freaking time as i always say i hope you're having an awesome and a nerdy day and i'll see you in the next video